Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Four things narcissists do after discarding you. When a narcissist discards you, it may seem like they're done with you and as though they're no longer interested in you, but it's actually a means for them to maintain control because they're very insecure and they feel inferior to you which is why the discard isn't always the final chapter. And there are things that they will do after discarding you because they're not finished with you. They haven't brought you to the desired final state, which is why they will do these four things after discarding you. One, they will hoover you. It may take a few days, months, or even years, but at some point, they will return to you. And if they were the ones to discard you, they will expect you to be longing and yearning for them. They see people as possessions, as objects that exist to serve them. So even though they may have got rid of you and acted as though you're worthless, that does not mean they won't be back to regain possession of you. And if they discarded you, they will expect you to be happy to take them back. Because they left you in a state of confusion. So you may be hoping for them to return so that you can finally understand what went wrong. Two. They will leave you without any closure. They left you without any closure. So they know that you're going to be seeking answers. But they're never going to give you an explanation for their behavior. And there is never going to be a resolution. Because that would put them at a disadvantage. Which is why they hide the truth because the truth is against them. It makes them look bad. And then they would have to accept that they need to compensate for their actions, which is why they're not going to explain anything because they just don't want to own up to who they are. And instead they'd rather uphold the mirage of their false self. But to do that, they need to keep you in a state of confusion. And they may even try to blame you for everything that went wrong, which leaves the door open for them to come back whenever they choose to. But they will typically ignore you after, the, after they discard you in order to maintain control and to diminish your self-esteem. To keep you in a state of confusion where you may be longing and yearning for their return. Three. They will flaunt their new supply. You now know about their toxic and dysfunctional behaviours. You know that they're negative. You know that they unjustly inflict hardship and constraint. So in order for them to return, they're going to have to convince you that it's your fault they're that way. Which is why they will flaunt their new supply. To make you think that things have gotten better for them. So you must have been the problem all along. But you were not the problem. And they have not changed. They just want you to think that their new supply is better than you. So they deserve better than you. So no matter what they do, they're still blaming you. And you're still left to take accountability for their actions. Because it's just 
you. They have no identity. They have no life or energy to bring to the situation. All they can do is manipulate you into thinking that they've changed as though they finally realize and admit that they have made a mistake and now they're trying to do better and be better this time when it's just more lies because they never cared about you and they never will but they will say anything if it means that they can be a part of your life again and things may seem fine in the beginning but they will soon feel comfortable around you again and it will be worse than before until they finally discard you but for them to be able to return they have to make you believe that there is the possibility of change when the reality is that they actually have no desire to change because they're quite comfortable with how things are as long as their needs are met they don't really care which is why they have no desire to change anything about themselves and in fact they believe that it is you who needs to change four they will watch you they will monitor your activities and development they will keep you under observation because they want to prevent you from recovering from the abuse and they want to prevent you from being close to someone else which is why they may be stalking and harassing you because your development and success is a reminder of their faults and failures and they don't want to be reminded of that they'd rather live in a false regality where it is you who is at fault which is why they must maintain control at all costs and because they view you as their possession it's not your choice to cut them off so they will try to hold on to you the narcissist will devalue you and they will treat you with contempt and then they will finally discard you as though you're garbage as though you're completely worthless when in fact this is all a lie it's all just a cover up to hide the fact that they need you more than you need them which is why they will come back because even after everything they've done to you you still hold value and they still have a use for you which is why they will still try to maintain control because they find power and have an influence over you as you are very valuable but they want all of your attention and focus to be on them where you're just longing and yearning for them and wishing that they would come back but if they have discarded you you need to prevent them from returning because they're no good for you they have nothing of value to bring to a relationship and nothing you do will make them better or more efficient so you're better off giving all of your time and energy to yourself to focus on your healing because by doing that you will be successful when you are dealing with narcissists you are the only person who holds value in that situation which means that anything you do or give to them will disappear into a void never to be seen again and it won't amount to anything while if you gave that same amount of time and energy to yourself it could become something because you do hold an inner sense of value they don't and the more you focus on yourself the more evident it becomes which is why the last thing they want you to do because it destroys this false reality which they have invented to protect themselves so the moment they sense that you're no longer ruminating over them they will be back to prevent you from focusing on yourself before it gets to the point where it begins to threaten their false self because that's all they're trying to do they're trying to prevent you from healing and moving on because by doing that it would only become a reminder to them of how they actually have no value at all thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.